Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Volume, the new game from Mike Bithell, creator of Thomas Was Alone. Uh, this is kind of a Metal Gear Solid style sneak em up puzzler sort of game. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it takes place in this weird virtual Nottingham Robin Hoodie type world. Um, yeah, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to start from the beginning. I did actually play this before, but the file crashed and basically the file got corrupted. So I'm having to redo it. I'm not going to let you listen to any of the dialogue as such this time. But basically there's these prompts on the floor. Ah, I was going to explain movement here, but I see you won't that won't be necessary. Fantastic. Also, you're reading this, so you've worked out context actions. I'm going to go ahead and delete some upcoming tutorial text. Run, 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 run. Hmm. Interesting. My previous best was something like four seconds, and now it's saying my personal best is ten. So I must not have quit the game properly last time. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> um, so all these levels are sort of... You run around, and you've got to avoid guards and collect gems, and then you get to the exit. Um, and there's a power time and all that. Um, yeah. So these are the gems here. Gem subsystem activated. These are obviously meant to represent pricey possessions. I don't really have the processing budget to model a hundred different kinds of trinket. So let's go a bit searching thesaurus for synonyms of cheap. Minimalist. Collect them all to open the exit. Interesting fact, that's the second time I mispronounced minimalist while reading that. <laughs> Never mind. Um, don't think there's a sprint button. It's just sneak and more sneak. Yeah, subpa. Woo. Undercover. Edited. Adjusted version following user request for stealth scenario. Simple AI implemented. Add personalities later. So this should take 84 seconds to complete. So later in the game you also get other distractions such as sort of it's called the bugle you can shoot it and it basically ricochets off like a snooker cue in a snooker game and distracts the guys and they come walking these guys here um this is checkpoint they were well check your your point saving your progress is far so far blah, 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 blah. so sneaking sneaking Sneaking. Uh, I believe that tells you how to uh, sneak, <laughs> which I didn't do so well last time. Corners. Press space to turn them while staying in cover. So, sneaking. Sneaking. My fingers get very confused trying to do this. Great job. Sorry, is that patronising? Apologies. Ugh. Apologies too for the amount of capitalization used in this environment. May have overdone that. Flee. Uh, yes, like so. Space, 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 space. There we go. Uh, waste management edited. 
added support to AI to hear envi environmental noises. Quite proud of this, actually. World interactions were not covered by the original maps. Um, yeah. So, things that kind of give you the Robin Hood thing. The main character is called Robin uh, Rob Loxley, and uh, the company you're fighting against is called Gisborne. <laughs> My studies of pre-volumetric simulations show that flush flushable toilets are incredibly important to create a sense of presence. Use them to distract these pawns. Rob, I'm enjoying researching these heists. I'm going to find data linked to each location you simulate. Embed it for you, for context. Should help to set the mood for all the fake thievery. I'm also researching the origin of my kind. AIs like me. It's fascinating. I embed some snippets f of my findings on that too. <laughs> oh wait, I don't need to do that just yet. I need to get over here first. As you can see, the exit is now open because I've collected all the gems. Sneaking, sneaking around. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 46 seconds and part time is 57. <laughs> Moving targets, par 104. The banker made incredible amounts of money during the war by investing in the companies he knew Gisborne would leave standing. I based this environment on one of his offices. I think if you really want the story, you should uh, play this for yourself, because it's pretty cool. Um, don't want to spoil anything, though. Oh, did I mention that pawns can patrol? They can. Look, here's a couple over there patrolling. Clever little pawns. Not a reading comprehension issue. No. No. Yay. <laughs> hide, 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 hide. No! Dang it. Run! First time I played this level, I did this bit really stupidly. Close. <laughs> this game, I find this game, even when I've played it, rather stressful. Okay, let's have a look. In circulation, par 105, the banker traded with Gisborne. He earned the right to know whom to invest in by helping Gisborne maintain his lists of allies. The information on this list's whereabouts are stored here. Nope, nope, not going to get me again. Come on, come on, come on. Sneaking. My only slight problem with this game is I don't know how much of a replay value it has. It does have a level editor, so that's pretty cool. And um, obviously the timed sort of 
nature of the levels means you can always keep trying to improve. But beyond that, what's this say? Uh, yeah, you can read that yourself when you get the game. <laughs> Oh, sneaking. I haven't noticed them stop this time. Last time I played this, they kept stopping every little while. Boom. Yay. <laughs> uh, no place like home. Par 123 seconds. The list is in the banker's own home. I've generated this map from his private records. Hope that's not a problem. Certainly is not. Rooms won't always have a convenient toilet to flush. Fortunately, you have the capacity to make noises unaided. At least I think you do. Press C to try. Just be careful who's nearby when you do. Sneak in. Run away. Whoop. Grab it, 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 grab it. Duck and hide. Oh, I really like this bit. This is fun. Old money, par 143. The exiled co-founder of Gidsbourne Industries has, allowed, has been allowed to run a small subsidiary, a job she despises but continues ruthlessly. Staffing patterns extrapolated from employment history. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on, get in! Hoi! Hoi! Hey! Right, so shift. Whistle. Run round and. No! Dang it! No, 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 no! Aww. Oh. <laughs> I always get this bit wrong. Pawns just don't work, walk where you whistle, they also walk back. Don't find me. Most patterns can be broken. Hopefully that's now left enough of a gap for me to sneak around like this. You see, it's all very clever. <laughs> Boom. A 
creek in the night. Part 99 seconds. The Queen's home is smaller than the one she enjoyed pre-war. Her London flat once belonged to a high-ranking government minister, now missing. His riches remain. And here we have... ground floors that make noise when you walk over them. Damn it, damn it, damn it, did it wrong, did it wrong, did it wrong. Um, yeah, that's another story, sort of lettery one, you can read that yourself. Now, am I going to get this wrong? Almost certainly. Ah, dang it! No, don't kill me, no! That works better. Okay, can I do this bit? Can I do this bit? Run! Whew! Huh! Oh, dang it! I forgot to duck. <laughs> I was doing so well, too. Okay. One more go. Stay ducked, stay ducked, stay ducked. Now he's gone past, so I can scoot around. Still not a bad time. Um, the Pointed Echo, par 101 seconds. The Queen has up security, I'm not sure why. The company's head office contains a lot of expensive equipment an unscrupulous person could take. So, first time I played this, there was a huge amount of talking around this level. Um, so you pick up the bugle, and basically this is the gun that I was telling you about. Look, look! So you can bounce it off walls and stuff. The bugle can of course be set mid-off air, bleh, off mid-air by pressing left again. Useful. Um, that's because when you first pick up the bugle, it tells you how to use it. There we go. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. I like it. I know I promise not to tutorialize too much, and repeating oneself is of course a bit rude, but Rob, you can absolutely press left again after launching the bugle. You should. It's fun. It makes a great noise. Fling. There we go. You'd think they'd notice that the big glowy things disappeared, but or appeared rather. Can I do it? Can I do it? Yeah. There we go. Squash racket, par 95 seconds. The banker's lawyer has also... Hmm? The banker's lawyer also has some interesting holdings. If you were to steal from her, I'd recommend doing so during the weekly squash game. There's also a quite a cool little cutscene just before the game starts, which you've obviously missed out on now. But, um... Oh, dang it, I forgot to duck again. Ain't no getting out of that one. How do you do this then?
Interesting. So, I believe there's a couple more weapons out there that you can use. Uh, echo chat thread history 231136 participants Jim Cooter blah 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 uh, hi Jim again too much wordy Dang it, dang it, no. Oh, dang it, I forgot to blow the bugle. <sighs> Oi. I like how the bugle makes a slightly different tone every time. Like a broken old farty whistle. <laughs> oh, what? That's not fair. That might be fair. There we go. Still beat the par time. <laughs> Right, um, this is, that last level was the last level that I'd got to beforehand, so that was new and this is new. I think I'll do one or two more level levels and then we'll leave it there, because I think, what with this being 11% of the game that you've seen, I think you should play the rest of the other 89. So yeah, let's just do this one last level. And yeah, I hope you like this, because uh, yeah. It's fun. Uh, Hinson, par 158. The Queen's teenage son is at university in the Midlands. His university hides expensive inherited heirlooms. Hide. Press space to hide in the locker. When the coast is clear, press space again to exit. Hiding. You'd think he'd hear that. Eagle, huzzah! Just pick it up. Um. Did that wrong. Uh. Oh, dang it, get in the cupboard, quick. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there is that slight flaw with this, I think. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's intended functionality, but it does seem to make it slightly easier than it should do. Not that I'm complaining when I do it that badly. Oh, dang it. Hide.
And then I should be able to snoop back in there. While oh, he's um, not looking. Grab my three thingamabobs. Hide in here till he comes back. Then he turns round. Then I get out. Um, hmm. do I do this? It should be... I'm sure this should be fairly easy. Dang it! No! He's trapped me! No! No you don't. my mask on. Okay, that worked. Huh. Oh, still did it. Under par. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you like the game, consider buying it because it'll help out an indie guy. And uh, I like the game and I'd like to see more people playing it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. That would be a... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we might just go into here and scale along the y-axis just to make it a bit wider, to make it look more tank-like, or track-like. And you can see here that you've now got this weird gap. Games like the magic of poker, where you hide your hand from other players. In Hanabi, you show your hand to everyone else and play it yourself. In a 2-3 player game, each player starts with five hands.